this is Ed with Ed's Two Cents Warning. I wanted to show you this tractor. Of course, you just saw the different things that I have used it for. And the reason why I wanted to show it to you, usually I'm showing you a latest front loader, a hydraulic one or electric one or whatever. But this is really, truly the most versatile machine that I've built because it can do such a variety of things. Uh, front loader, you're limited to, of course, lifting up things to a limited degree and also uh, maybe scraping a road or something like that. Not a, a wide variety. This really has a wide variety of things that it can do, as you saw in the video. So uh, I just wanted to share it with you. I'm going to get the camera and do a quick walk around. This is the uh, tractor that I put the alternator on. There's another video that shows how I did that. And uh, the alternator really helps to uh, supply power to the winch and uh, really gives it some oomph as far as lifting. So let me grab the camera and I'll do that walk around. I don't want to take up a lot of your time, but uh, I just did want to hopefully inspire you maybe to take a look at um, what your needs are around your home and then build it accordingly, not just build a loader to have a loader. So that's the idea behind it. Of course, uh, it's your decision, whatever you do. So let me grab the camera. Of course, you can see here that it is winch driven. This is a 2,500 pound winch and the boom hinges down at the bottom there and comes up. Now this is probably about five feet the way it is and it's got extensions that go higher and higher and higher. So depending on what I want to do will be which extensions that I'm using. Now there's a little stop device right here this limits the boom as far as how far back it can come. That way, uh, I don't go in and pull this thing into the winch itself. This is the electrical box. This has the relays and such in it uh, for the operation, and it's expandable. It's not waterproof, but it does uh, um, limit, act, you know, water damage if I was to leave it out in the rain or something like that. This is a cable that runs from a big battery in the back, goes up to the alternator. And let me show that to you. You can see this is the factory tractor battery. And this is the additional battery that supplies tons of power. got extra weights in the back to help keep traction when it's carrying a heavy load up in the front trailer hitch and this is a two directional up and down for the winch <laughs> You could hear that load. That was where it hit that stop device and, and the cable got tight. So that works really well. So I hope this is inspirational to you in your projects. And uh, I hope that you'll click the like button. And I hope that you will also subscribe. If you've got any questions about this build, just uh, shoot them to me and I'll try to answer them for you. Thank you.